Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. The election campaign of 55 municipalities of the fourth phase is coming to an end at midnight today. At the last moment, the mayoral and councillor candidates are ploughing the field to attract the voters. Although the Awami League candidates are 100% optimistic about the victory, the BNP candidates are worried about a fair vote and the voters are making various calculations to choose an honest and qualified candidate. Election officials have completed all kinds of preparations for a fair and neutral election. The Chittagong BNP's scheduled rally has been postponed in protest of vote rigging in the city elections. The announcement was made to the media after 1 p.m. on Friday. Earlier, BNP leaders announced rallies in six metros at a press conference in Dhaka. The BNP's defeated candidates in various city elections called for the rally in protest of vote rigging. Sabir, a helper of Shohak Puri Bahon, was hacked to death by miscreants in a bus at Shivbari intersection in Kulna city. Shonadanga Pol model police station po police officer in charge, Mohammed Muntazul Hawk, said that after the Shohak Puri Bahon bus came from Dhaka last night, the driver left the bus at that place and went home, while his helper, Sabir, stayed on the bus. However, in the early hours of the morning, the miscreants got inside the bus and hacked the helper, Sabir, to death. Upon receiving the news in the morning, the police recovered Sabir his body from inside the bus. Five more people died due to corona in the country. The total death toll has risen to 8,253. This information was given in the press release of the health department on Friday. In 24 hours, 404 people have been identified in corona in the country and a total of 5,39,975 people have been identified. 14,328 samples were tested in 24 hours. So far, a total of 36,22,345 samples have been tested. 422 people have recovered in 24 hours and so far a total of 4,86,393 people have recovered. 85 to 100 vehicles collided head-on on a Texas highway in the United States after a snowstorm on Thursday. Six people were killed in this incident. At least 75 people were injured. The crash happened on the Interstate 35 highway in the Fort Worth area of Texas, local police said. After the first two cars overturned, every car started to overturn one after another. Rescuers and law enforcers rushed to the spot after receiving the news of the accident. So far, 38 people have been taken to hospital. It may take a long time to move the vehicles from the spot. Due to the blizzard, it is heavily snowing in different parts of the United States. As a result, several other accidents have occurred in Dallas and Arlington, according to local media. Protests continue against Myanmar's military junta government. The movement has not stopped even in the midst of police repression. Along with people from different walks of life, people from different ethnic groups have also joined the movement for, for the release of Suu Kyi and the removal of military rule. Meanwhile, the junta government has also arrested State Councillor Keo Tint and Rakhine Chief Minister Niai Phuket. On the other hand, the occupying army government announced the release of 23,350. 14 prisoners on Friday. On Friday, Senior General Min Ong Hleng announced the release of the detainees. A separate notice also announced the release of 55 foreign nationals. Both orders were signed by Army Chief Min Ong Hleng. On the same day, a huge par parade was held in the square in front of City Hall in Lapido to mark the country's 64th Union Day. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.